Hey everyone, Luke Dog here, and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins, where we're preparing Red Cliff for a evening assault. Let's see what's down this way. Ooh, general store. Over here. Quartz. Lake Kellen had no swimming. The waters of Lake Kellen had are steeped in legends. The Avar people say that it was once the site of Belenes, the mountain which stood at the center of the world, from which Korth the Mountain Father surveyed the earth and sky. But it was destroyed in the battle between Korth and the serpent Nathramar, leaving only a vast crater behind. When the Lady of the Sky saw that Belenus was gone, she wept and her tears filled the crater, making the lake. The Tevinters believed that the waters of Lake Kalanhad were blessed by Razakale, god of mysteries, and that those who drank from them were granted special insights. This is why they built the great tower on an island in the middle of the lake, hoping the powers of the lake would aid their magical research. But most of us know the legend of King Kalanhad, which gave the place its name. It is said that Kalanhad Theron spent a year and a day in the Tower of the Magi. Each day, he drew a single cup full of water from the lake and carried it to the formery at the top of the tower. By magic, each cup of water was forged into a single ring of the male armor the circle gave to Kalanhad. In that armor, made from the lifeblood of the land itself, no blade could strike him, no arrow pierce him, so long as he stood on Ferelden soil. Wow. From Thetis, Myths and Legends by Sister Patrine, Chantry Scholar. That sounds like awesome armor. Health Poultice. Poultice. Whichever. Some death root. Okay, let's go check out the general store. Sorry I don't bring you out much, Carver. Sugar, wheat flour, fillet knife, ginger for grandpa's flatulence, ink, cod liver oil, dried mushrooms, rouge or lesion. Also remember to ask if more beeswax will be available soon. Hello? There's lamp oil. You notice some barrels of oil in the general store. Perhaps someone could use them to defend Redcliffe. I found Bevan hiding in a war wardrobe. Oh yeah, I gotta go to the Chantry. Finished. Hmm. Interesting. Wind's house. Hello? Wonderful. Intruders. I hope you have a good reason for breaking and entering into my home. No one answered. I apologize, I didn't mean any harm. 
Apology accepted. The name's Dwin. Pleased to meet you. Now get out. I'm looking for a Kanari sword you bought. You broke into my house for that? Surrender the blade before I lose patience, dwarf. So it's your sword. Farron didn't mention he took it off a live giant. How much do you want for it? I'll let it go for six sovereigns. The number's got a nice sound to it, don't you think? All right. That wasn't so bad, was it? Now, why don't you take your sword and leave? Murtaugh says he needs you for the militia. So what? You're recruiting for him? I'll tell you what I told Murdoch. I'm not risking my neck for this town. Your chances are better out there than in here. Thanks. But I'll take my chances in here. Everyone else can run around in the open waiting to die. Can't I change your mind? Maybe. Let's hear what you've got. Put in a good word for you with Antigon or the Arl. Hmm. You might just be able to pull that off. Fine. I'll throw in with the militia. For now. You better be out there too when the sun goes down. I'm not fighting for a lost cause, you hear me? Got it. Is there anything else in here? There's a chest. Think again. Aww. No, I cannot. Impossible. Dang it. Here, Stan. Strange. I had almost forgotten it. Completion. Are you sure you are a Grey Warden? I think you must be an Ashkari to find a single lost blade in a country at war. You're welcome, Stan. I would thank you for this, if I knew how. And I could deliver a much more satisfying answer to the Arishok's question if the blight were ended, don't you agree? So you're staying then? I am one of the Beresad. I have never abandoned the field with a battle unmet. I'm glad to have you, Stan. Indeed, it isn't every Grey Warden who has his own Beresad. I will see you reach the Archdemon. Lead the way. Nice. You've managed to convince Dwin to come out of his locked house to help the militia. Either you have an inviolable memory or a pity pitiable life to know nothing of regret. The northern islands are remote, lush jungles that harbor cities rumored to be the most extraordinary ever built. These are the lands of the Kunari, lands that no foreign eyes ever see. Only the stories of the three exultant marches waged against the giants have reached the south, until the arrival of Sten. The stoic giant in the cage was surely the strangest thing the people of Lothering had ever seen, until the blight struck. He was sent with a small group of Kunari soldiers to investigate the blight and report back. Outside Lothering, they were ambushed by Darkspawn. They fought off the attack, but only Sten survived. Farmers found him dying and took him in, but when he awoke, alone and unarmed, he panicked, killing the entire family. Realizing he had sacrificed his honor, Sten waited for the villagers to come and surrendered, expecting death. His sword and his honor restored, Sten chose to continue with Aiden and take the battle to the Archdemon. Sten has an eye for paintings, an appreciation that might seem out of character, but is actually an extension of Kunari discipline. He respects an artist for careful composition, a skill that is as much about where the brushstroke stops as where it begins. You called. Uh, we can talk later. As you wish. Do, 
Okay, Stan. Take a break. Fashion. Hey, I just gave you your sword back. You're okay. Kind of want to bring in Liliana, but at the same time, I feel like I should change my party up a bit. Yeah, screw it. Indeed. I don't like being out here, Dwin. The mayor's giving me the evil eye. Well, he should. Because you're a good-for-nothing liar and a thief. Well, we don't understand why we're out here. We're out here because I say we're gonna help these people. And since I pay your wages, you're gonna do as I say. Oh, sure, boss. Whatever you say. Hey, check it out. These guys have better armor now. Get back to you in a bit, Murtog. There are many great tales of lost kings who return to their lands to reign in glory. I am not lost, nor for that matter, a king. And there's nothing glorious about me. You are Merrick's son. You are the rightful king of Ferelden. I am the son of a star-struck maid and an indiscreet man who just happened to be king. <sighs> Look, I can't be king. Some days I have trouble figuring out which boot goes on which foot. Complete fools are made leaders of kingdoms all the time. And you're not a complete fool. What an utter relief. And don't worry about the boots. Kings don't need to dress themselves. That's what advisors are for, isn't it? And starstruck maids, apparently. Hmm. More death food. Ooh, and there's a chest. I am done. More arrows for Liliana. And down here. More death root. Where's some elf root? It's like a boat building place. Where are you going? I thought you were going to help us. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, it looked like you were. If you did leave, I doubt we'd still be here when you got back. I'm just saying. So that's the way out. I was trying to go this way. Yeah, I was trying to go that way. Whoops. Yeah, if you end up leaving, it does not end up well. It's one of those things where you can't undo it. Greetings, friend. No monster sightings yet. There's still time before sundown, though. Here we go. That must be Sir Perth.
Fourth lower stone. Age, race, height. I care not for the differences others perceive. But matching your helmet to my tunic, we've done that already, I believe. Miss Ambrose, a long, slow grind, the motions careful, aided by generous applications of oils. Size is no concern with my equipment, and I am always mindful when stuffing, not risking a burst before every order is fulfilled. My meat goes hand in hand with satisfaction. Your interest astounds, but it is not mine to question a customer's choice in nighttime reading. Three pound sausage against again next week. No cheek, of course. Ugh. Darling, when next we meet, I would find it agreeable for you to leave your hat on. And mayhaps your boots as well. And trousers. Sure, too. And I shall facilitate said clothes status by locking my door and posting a guard. Duly warned. Sounds like they're not getting along. My elf root. The herbalist suggested powdered bronto horn. I was very discreet. You're filthy. A beast. Such depravity I've never been forced to suffer. How words are so laden when they leave your lips is beyond decent imagining. Madam, I love you. My, my dearest Virginia True Royal. Regarding bodice ripped... Enclosed are seven silver and my most heartfelt apologies for said bodice. I would blame the cold ocean spray, the loss of my favorite shirt, the bucking of the stallion, or perhaps the strain of maintaining all such elements while sitting for a portrait, but I was certainly not myself. I hope you will forgive me and not take it upon yourself to find your own determined way in this world. Dear Sir John, Your ministrations, while well-intentioned, hold no promise. Do not despair, for it is not you, it is of me. I require an interval to acquaint myself with the personage you awakened. I'm certain we can maintain an am amiable accord and that engagements with our mutual associations will not be awkward. Marie. To one's paramour. When last we embraced, one noticed the red redolence of another's company, but one was unmindful. My love. I long to dance you beneath the moonlight, our hearts beating like the paired wings of a dove. In concert with the glory of the Maker and the beauty of the world that we must shepherd in his absence. Join me in a purity that will last for the ages, when the brothers mark the chant of light anew. Otter's Pocket. He's earned it tonight. Okay. Most powerful foe was a high dragon, not Flemeth. Ha! Hello, Sir Perth. How goes it? Greetings, Grey Warden. I am as relieved as Ban Tegan is to see you here. I must admit that I do not quite know how to address you. Is my lord sufficient? That would be proper. I am a Tyrant's son. Very well then, my lord. I am humbly at your service. I am Sir Perth, until recently in direct service of Arl Eamon of Redcliffe. For now my charge is defending the village from these evil assaults. Would that I had chosen not to seek out the urn of sacred ashes. Perhaps I would have fended off whatever evil befell the castle. Or perhaps I would be dead. Ah well, with the Grey Warden aiding our defense, perhaps all is not lost. Is there anything I can do to help? We have sufficient armor and weapons, but my knights are too few to stand against the monsters without assistance. Perhaps you could approach Mother Hannah in the Chantry for some holy protection against these evil creatures. Otherwise, I do not know what else you could provide beyond your own talents. We're as prepared for the onslaught as we could possibly be, all things considered. Have you considered using the oil in the village store? No one told me of this. Oil, you say? How much, exactly? Enough to set many monsters aflame. Assuming that would hurt them. Yes, I see what you have in mind. That might be effective, if used carefully. Yes, excellent idea. I'll send some men to collect the oil. We'll use it to slow these creatures down. Have you anything else to ask me in the meantime? Is there, is there anything else you need? No, nothing comes to mind. If you have not spoken to the mayor, Murdoch, you should. His militia is far more in need of aid than we are. I have some questions. Ask me whatever you wish. 
Where can I get supplies? I'm not sure. Murdoch mentioned a blacksmith in the village, but I believe the militia is using everything he had. Beyond that, you might try the village store. It's locked up, but there may be items of use still within. I do not know. What about the tavern? Ugh. A fellow named Lloyd runs it. He refuses to close and evacuate to the Chantry. I suppose he might still have something to sell you, though I wouldn't encourage dealing with a fool. He was a profiteer and nothing more. You mentioned something about an urn. When the Isle fell sick, we were at the loss. Nothing worked to cure him, and he just kept getting worse. Finally, our lesser Isold came up with a plan. The Urn of Sacred Ashes is a legendary artifact said to hold great healing powers. If found, it might save him. They say the followers of Andraste smuggled her ashes out of Tevinter and hid them in Ferelden. The urn's never been heard of since. We knights volunteered to seek it out. Few of us have returned. Many are still out there, unaware of what is happening here. Just what was the Arl sick with? We were never certain. He thirsted for water and then grew weaker and weaker. He brought in a mage, but even that did nothing. The Arlesa believed he was cursed and that we needed the power of Andraste herself or he would surely perish. Why did the Arlesa believe anyone could find the urn? The Arl once employed a scholar, Brother Genetivi. He had proof the urn was in Ferelden, or so I was told. Can no one find the other knights and bring them back? Eventually, perhaps. The ones I have here were those near enough to recall within the last few days. I only returned myself because I was passing by Redcliffe and heard the news of strange attacks. So the knights left the castle defenseless? Not at all. A great number of soldiers remained in Castle Redcliffe. I wonder if they perished there and were transformed into these things. The thought chills my blood. I want to discuss something else. As you wish. What is your status? We retrieved more oil from the village store. It is ready to use as our first line of defense, as you suggested. Overall, my fellow knights are nervous about the coming battle. Death is almost certain, but we will fight and die valiantly if that's what the Maker demands. Carry on. As you wish, my lord. Maker, watch over you. No, all is still, as it has been for days. While Perth and the knights are ready for to fight, Perth thinks some kind of holy protection from the Maker would boost his men's morale. She talked to his mother Hannah to see if she was willing to help. Mother Hannah can be found in the village chantry. An unnatural stillness, as though there is naught in there but death. Say no more. The Arl lives, and I will not listen to your inauspicious chatter. Here, sweetie. Oh, how dear of you. Thank you so much. Where's the tavern? There's the tavern. Do you have any tales of the wild? None of the sort you like. No princesses in tall towers, or knights throwing themselves at whole armies. That's not all I like. Do you want tales of the chastened wilders, who dwell in the marsh? Do you want to hear of the slow deaths they inflict on their enemies? Perhaps a tale of the poisonous creatures of the wilds that lay their eggs on your skin so their young may eat you alive when hatched? Or a tale of my mother's marsh cuisine, that, in my opinion, is the most terrifying of all my tales. Uh, no. I don't want to hear about those things. Then I have no tales for you. Of all the... Don't worry, you'll come back. Yes.
Oh, he actually puts on his gifts. There. Now you're at least more protected. There, even more. should be this way. Actually, I think it's right here. Oh, I didn't even notice this little path. That's why. Don't eat the cheese. Hmm. Another doomed soul come to drown their sorrows here, I see. If you came here for a drink, you'll have to talk to Lloyd. He's got a vice grip on the spigots. I'm just here to keep the boys from mutiny. What do you know about the elf in the corner? Not much. He's very quiet. Says his name's Beric and he's here to meet his brother, but I think he's lying. He's a bit... creepy. So how has business been? What business? Without the castle soldiers, the only customers we have are local. And they're all in the militia with no money to spend. The few with any money are here, but it's not enough to justify working. Lloyd's a... greasy pig. And if I didn't need this job so badly, I... You don't care for Lloyd, I take it. He gropes me and pays me next to nothing. But I suppose it could be worse. Not like I've got many options. That could be considered sexual harassment. I could talk to him about this. No, no. That'll just make things worse. And that's very sweet. But I'll be fine. Why don't you leave? And go where? With no money and no prospects, I just end up somewhere else working for someone worse. Pretty girl like you should be able to do better. Oh, you think I'm pretty, do you? Of course I do. Anyone would. That's really sweet of you. Thank you. Shouldn't you be at the Chantry? Later on, yes. Lloyd will lock himself in the cellar, and I'll go to the Chantry. Are you... fighting tonight? Yes, I am. That's... good to hear. I didn't know that. I should go. Keep safe. Hold on. Yes? Lloyd's watered down swill hasn't made you leave yet, I see. How's business? What business? Without the castle soldiers, the only customer... The few with any money are here, but it's not enough to justify working. Lloyd's a greasy pig, and if I didn't need this job so badly, I... And go where? With no money and no prospects, I just end up somewhere else working for someone worse. You could leave if you had some help. You mean after the fighting's over? I'd really like that. What would I have to do in return? Nothing at all. I'd be glad to help. That's very kind of you. I... I don't know what to say. I should go. Keep safe.
Not looking for company. Strange seeing an elf here. Elves aren't allowed to travel? It's just curious, that's all. I'm not here to talk. You're simply here to act suspiciously, I take it. What? I'm not acting suspiciously. Oh, now that was convincing. Look, I don't know you, and I don't want to. I'm not... I mean, I was just told to... I mean, just leave me alone. What do you mean? What were you told to do? Nothing. Nobody told me to do anything. Just because you're a Grey Warden doesn't mean you can go around threatening people. And how do you know I'm a Grey Warden? I just, uh, overheard it, that's all. If you'll excuse me, I want to get to the Chantry before the sun goes down. This will be easy if you just tell me what you're hiding. If I... but I never... Oh, all right, I'll tell you. Just... just don't hurt me. This is more than I bargained for. Look, they just paid me to watch the castle and send word if anything should change. But they never said anything about monsters. I haven't even been able to report anything since this started. I'm stuck, same as you, I swear. Who are they? Who hired you to do this? A tall fellow. I forget his name. He, uh, said he was working for Hal. Arl Rendon Hal. He's an important man, Terran Loghain's right hand. So I didn't do anything wrong. What are you supposed to watch the castle for? Just to report any changes. Honest. All I could send word about was the Arl getting sick. After that, monsters started coming from the castle. So you know how this happened? Tell me now. I don't know anything about these creatures. When the Arl got sick, I got scared that people would think I was involved. But I swear I don't know anything about it. They sent me to watch. Maybe they knew the Arl would get sick. I don't know. How do I know you're telling the truth? Here, this is a letter from them. It has instructions and everything. Keep it, do whatever you want with it. I just thought I was serving the king and making a bit of coin on the side. You have to believe me. I think you should help defend Redcliffe tonight. Oh, all right. I'll do it. Thank you for your mercy. I won't forget it. Berwick, we need your eyes and ears in Redcliffe. Stay in the village, keep your head down, and watch the castle. Report any changes and you'll be well paid. Hmm. I can't believe Lloyd won't even give us some free ale. A time like this, and all he thinks about is turning a profit. Did you expect any different? That bastard's always been cheaper than an antique from the hall. Here we are, defending the village, and he don't even have the decency to help us out. Maybe he should help defend the village instead. Ha! I've seen Lloyd handle a sword. He should stick to something he knows about, like keeping me nice and drunk for the fight. Lloyd is charging us for coin we don't even got anymore. Nobody's working right now. We're all just trying to survive. Ah, uh, what difference does it make? He won't care. You've learned that the Redcliffe militia is unhappy because they have to pay for drinks. The men do not leave much. The men do not have much coin, and they face the prospect of a gory death. Ale is their only comfort. Perhaps you could arrange for the militia to get their drinks for free. Hello, Lloyd. Hello there, friend. Can't say we've ever met before. Stranger to the village, I take it. Haven't had many travelers lately. All this nonsense is bad for business. Bet you regret coming, yes? What do you mean? Oh, you know, evil creatures, impending doom, civil war, and the Arl's dead in the castle. Makes you thirsty, don't it? So, what'll it be? 
You are here to drink, I hope. Let's see what you have. Right. I've got some supplies, too, in case you're interested. With the store closed down, it doesn't hurt to pick up some of the slack, eh? What can I get you? I hear you're charging the militia for ale. Why shouldn't I? They may not have much coin, but I'm not giving it away for free. Think of the goodwill you earn. I, I never thought of that. Hmm. Maybe I could try it for a bit. Right then, you men over there. Drinks are on the house. All militia drink for free. Oh, you're a saint, Lloyd. Ha ha! If them creatures don't kill me, I swear they'll bleed me dry. Something else I can get for you? Answer a few questions. Fine. Make them quick. Shouldn't you be helping defend the village? Why? When them creatures attack, I lock myself in the cellar, just batten the hatches and wait it out. What's the point in getting myself killed with all the rest of them? If that makes me a coward, then I'm a coward. Then be a coward if that's what you want. Well, yes. I suppose that is what I want. What do you know about what's happened here? Not a lot. Castle guards stopped coming in about a week back. It's unusual, too. They were my main source of business. After a few days, I thought it strange enough to ask. But nobody heard anything. Anyone going up to the castle didn't come back. When the first attack hit, I locked myself in the cellar. I say we just wait for help to come. Why are you still open? I'm not abandoning my tavern because of a few monsters. The second I'm in the Chantry, Murdoch and his men will be here drinking all my ale. Let's talk about something else. Something else I can get for you? Fine. Make them quick. I'm not abandoning my tavern because of a few monsters. Not a lot. After a few... When the first attack hit, I locked myself in the cellar. I... Something else I can get for you? Who are you anyway? Name's <laughs> Lloyd. So, why'd you come to the village now? The roads can't be all that safe, not with a war brewing. I'm a Grey Warden. Well, that explains it. Except for the lack of darkspawn around here. But never mind me. Something else I can get for you? I should go. Right then. Pogrin approves? He's not even here. Thanks to you, the militia can now drink as much as they want, as often as they want. This is a good thing, right? Can't switch party here. Now we gotta go back to the Chantry. Grin. Have some ale.
That looks fine indeed. <laughs> Major Constitution. Nothing. No speaking. Where's it up here? Nothing over here. Okay. So you got the barrels set up already. Okay, Ogren, if you're not going to say anything, I'm going to switch you out then. Thunder, Humper. Hey. Indeed. You watch your mouth, little man. I hear you got the tavern serving the militia free ale now. While I don't favor my men being drunk come sundown, I suppose it helps morale to have their minds taken off. What's to come? You have my thanks. The repairs are underway surprisingly quickly, considering how drunk Owen is. We may just make it. How's morale? The men's spirits are high for now. Far better than I expected, to be honest. Dwin's presence makes the men a bit more confident. It helps to know a veteran is on our side tonight. My men are getting free drinks at the tavern. I suppose it's better to drown your fears rather than go mad waiting for certain death. I'm tempted to have a few ales myself. Since you convinced Owen to start repairs, we're pretty well armed now. That is a relief, let me tell you. Overall, I'd say the militia's very ready to fight. Never thought I'd say that, but there you go. Is there anything else? I have some questions. Oh? Ask away. Tell me about what's happened. Don't rightly know. A few folk... And then those horrid creatures attacked the village. They were everywhere. People... No. I know the Arle... Hmm. If you want weapons and such, speak to one. Ah... Uh... Commerce isn't exactly our biggest. There's not much time before sundown. I'd like to talk about Dwin. Thanks for persuading him to come out here. He's going to be a great help. I just know it. There's not much time before sundown. I need to check on something. I have a good feeling about tonight. Hey. Everyone has better armor now. Everyone's gearing up. Bevan said you were the one who found him. I can't possibly repay you. About the sword I found. Bevan told me about Grandfather's sword. So you have it, then? I suppose it won't go to waste, at least. Perhaps I could pay you something for it? 
I'll return it after the battle. It belongs to your family. Use it well. If we survive, I'll gladly take it back. Thank you again for Bevin. With my mother gone... Well, I'm just glad he's safe. I can't thank you enough. Just stay safe, both of you. The Maker sent you. I just know it. Thank you again. These are terrible times. Just terrible. I hear both Murdoch and Sir Perth are ready for nightfall. Excellent news. Tell me more about yourself. This is hardly the time to be discussing personal details, don't you think? We will have to fight for our lives very shortly. And thus I'd like to know something about you. I suppose that's not too much to ask. I did not mean to be brusque. What will you do if Arleman is dead? I don't know. If Connor lives, he'll be the Arl and I'll need to help him with it. If he's... well, I don't want to think about that. Why have you stayed? Why didn't you just leave? After the first attack, I wanted to go for help, but I couldn't just leave these people. The ban on gear up to battle Loghain while Darkspawn loom to the south. Loghain won't send anyone, so Redcliffe is on its own. Are you a skilled warrior? Skilled enough to know there are many far better than myself. Perhaps we should get back to the matter at hand. Good, then my secrets are still safe. I was worried for a moment there. Eh. Very well. Luck be with you, my friend. What is it you need, child? Sir Perth needs holy protection for the knights. I have done all I can for them. I pray for them each night and seek the Maker's forgiveness for their sins before they face their deaths. What Sir Perth seeks is something that is not in my power to give. Can't you just bless them? I can pray with them and give them my blessing. But Sir Perth wants me to call upon the Maker to shield them from evil. Well, can't you just tell him the Maker will watch over him? Morale is a powerful thing, you know. You mean you want me to let them think the Maker protects them in a real sense? I will not lie to them like that. If it gives them confidence, then it does protect them. I suppose if they believed in the Maker's power, that belief would inspire them somewhat. It, it just seems like trickery. Very well. If it keeps them alive, I will do what I must. I have a number of silver-cast holy symbols. Tell Sir Perth that he can have them, and that wearing them will confer the Maker's protection. Now please, let me tend to these poor folk. I must do what I can, and I suggest you do the same. Mother Hannah has given in and is letting the knights take some holy artifact amulets, even though she dislikes this deception. The amulets aren't really magic, but they should help the knight's morale. Let's go! Shale's most powerful foe was Bronca. <laughs> this way. Hey, Sir Perth. The Knights of Redcliffe are ready to fight at your disposal. You said you wanted holy protection. Have you spoken to the revered mother? Has she offered anything? Mother Hannah has some holy amulets. Would those do? 
Must we do this? The faith that will protect these men must come from their heart, surely. If they are the same as the symbols worn by their priests, well, that would more than suffice. You think it would actually help? Of course I do. These are Maker's symbols. What better protection could we ask for? I will send some men to collect the amulets. Please give my regards to Mother Hannah for seeing some sense at last. Is there anything else you need? No, nothing comes to mind. If you have not spoken to the mayor, Murdoch, you should. His militia is far more in need of aid than we are. Carry on. As you wish, my lord. May God watch over you. Oh, come on. Sir Perth and his knights are ready to defend Redcliffe. Perth is happy about the holy amulets and believes that they are blessed by the Maker and that they will protect the knights. Okay. Mother Hannah's amulets have greatly bolstered my men's confidence. You couldn't have armed us with any better than our faith in the Maker. What is your status? I distributed Mother Hannah's amulets to the other knights. It is encouraging to think the Maker watches over us in our hour of need. We retrieved more oil from the village store. It is ready to use as our first line of defense, as you suggested. Overall, my fellow knights are nervous about the coming battle. Death is almost certain, but we will fight and die valiantly if that's what the Maker demands. I'm ready to make my stand here. There is still time before the sun goes down. If you have not yet spoken to Murdoch, or if there is anything you have planned... No, I'm ready now. Good luck to you then, and may the Maker watch over us all.
coming from the lake! They're attacking the barricades! We need help! Knights, stay here and guard the path. Come on! We need to hurry! No, 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 no. no. Maybe this isn't the best time to be thinking about this, but I think there's something to ask you. Chances are we'll be heading to Denerim soon. And when we're there, I wonder if we might be able to look someone up. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not talking about a friend, exactly. And no, it's not that sort of friend either. Is this really good time? I have a sister, a half-sister. I told you about my mother, right? She was a servant of Regular Castle when she had a daughter. Only, I never knew about her. I don't think she knew about me, either. And kept my birth secret. But, after I became a great warden, I did some checking, and... Well, I found out she's still alive. In general. Uh, yeah, that's wonderful news. She's the only real family I have left. The only family not also mixed up in the whole royal thing. I've just been thinking that maybe it's time I went to see her. With the blight coming and everything, I don't know if I'll ever get another chance to see her. Maybe I can help her. Warn her about the danger, I don't know. Uh, if you want to try, sure. Could we? I'd appreciate that. If something happened to her and I never went to at least see her, I don't know if I can forgive myself. Her name is Goldana, and I think she remarried but still lives just outside the area. If we're in the area, then, well, it's wonderful. Yeah, that's nice. We'll go look for your sister now. Can I please pick up this corpse? Okay, that was just a mace. That was just a mace. Just a mace. Never mind. Okay, let's get going. People are dying here. Let's go, people. Come on. someone.
Sorry, militia guy. Aw, we lost Murdoch. Dang it. I guess he didn't kill him fast enough. I know there's a chance where you can win where everyone survives, but I guess I didn't kill him quick enough to... Man! Dawn arrives, and we survive the night. We are victorious. And though this victory came at great cost, we must remember none of us would be here were it not for the heroism of these good folk beside me. I thank you, good sir. Truly the Maker smiled on us when he sent you here in our darkest hour. I was happy to help defend the village. Let us bow our heads and give honor to those who gave their lives in defense of Redcliffe. Murdoch of Redcliffe, Mayor and beloved father, we salute you. You and so many others who have perished here, walk with he who is your maker. Long may you know the peace of his love. Why do I still feel like it was my fault? With the Maker's favor, the blow we delivered today is enough for me to enter the castle and seek out your Arl. Be wary and watch for signs of renewed attack. We shall return with news as soon as we are able. Now we've no time to waste. Meet me at the mill. We can talk further there. Ben Tegan has a plan for getting into the castle and is waiting for you by the mill. Alistair told you about his half-sister Goldana, with whom he shares a mother. He always wanted to find her to talk to her, but he's never done it. Now Alistair wishes to warn her about the blight, while he still has the chance. Goldana lives in Denerim, near the alienage. Yeah, guys, it just wasn't quick with dealing with the corpses. You saved us. I can't believe we're alive. And it's finally over. What are you going to do now? With mother and father both gone, I suppose they'll send us to an orphanage. Maybe separated. At least we're both alive. I won't forget what you did, though. Neither of us will. Thank you. I promise to return your grandfather's sword. I can't take it back. If you need it, keep it. Grandfather would want it in the hands of a hero. Perhaps I could pay you something for it? I ha have no idea what it's worth, to be honest. And you found Bevan. I couldn't ask you for money. It's a very valuable sword. Here. 500 silver. Oh, how generous we are today, it appears. That's, that's a nice sword. That's incredibly kind of you. This is more than I ever dreamed of. With this, I can hire a wagon to take us to Denerim. We have family there, and they'll take us in for sure now. Come on, Bevin, let's find one now. Make a watch over you. I'll never forget you. Take care. Morgan, it was a very valuable sword, okay?
Sister Gazelle posts, Unfortunate news has arrived that the Darkspawn have extended their incursion into areas previously thought safe for travel. A runner from a border caravan brings word that they unknowingly passed the into infested territory and were being tracked by several unseen creatures. He was dispatched to seek help and does not know the fate of his fo fellow or the viability of the trade route. Travelers in the area are urged to be cautious. Any with the ability to rescue or determine the status of the troubled group will be rewarded. Sister Rana, Sister Rana posts on behalf of her neighbors. The darkspawn incursions in the south have made for have made for difficult communication, even through official means. The relatives of the conscripts in Company East Hill have beseeched me to deliver word of their brothers and sons. I have no means to do so, but I can point a traveler of stout heart into the proper direction of their recent engagement. To any who are able to find their loved ones, I offer what little silver they have been able to entrust to the board, as well as the sincerest gratitude of the Chantry. An urgent plea from Brother Baird. Something is stalking the wilds, killing the good merchants who support our town in these difficult times. One would assume that this is the reason the Chantry employs the use of the Templars, but they are unmindful of a simple brother's plea. I understand they have the Darkspawn and the constant threat of uncontrolled magic to contend with, but are they not meant to protect the common people? Whatever the source of this thing, whatever uns unconscionable force has unleashed it, someone must make the road safe again. All we know is that it's not Animal, Bandit, or Darkspawn. If anyone will stand, I will provide of my own wealth as compensation. A strange creature is killing merchants. Be on the lookout while traveling and it may find you. Go to the region marked on your map to determine the status of the conscripts of Company East Hill. Travel to the trade route marked on your map and determine the fate of the border caravan. The deep dark before dawn's first light seems eternal, but know that the sun always rises. Your efforts are greatly appreciated. Oh, I finished something. Not deliver all the letters of conscript to the new conscript groups after loathing was destroyed by the dark spawn. I was supposed to go to Lothering? Huh. My friend. I have a task that requires some tact and discretion, and I think you're perfect for the job. The Blackstone Irregulars cannot survive without the patronage of the nobles, mages, and other groups who retain our services. For that work to continue, however, we have, we have ensured that people are looking out for our interests. I'm guessing it means we have to ensure. To that end, I ask you to make a trip to Denerim and pass on our appreciation to certain individuals. Return when you are done, and I'll see that you're rewarded. Your friend... Terran. Deliver the notices of, of appreciation to the five hooded couriers in Denerim and return to the Blackstone Irregulars for your reward. The end is upon us! The dead rise, and foul magic spreads across the land! Repent your sins before death! Beg for the Maker's divine forgiveness! Have you repented your sins? I have! I have repented! Oh, Maker! Forgive me my sins! Forgive my fellow brothers and sisters! Look upon us with kindness as we are swallowed by the darkness. Please calm down, you're hysterical. I... I don't mean to. I... I just need to tell everyone. They need to know. They need to repent before... Before it's too late. I was too late for my wife. She died... So horribly. And she... She was not repented. I need... I need to help everyone. 
to prepare. Perhaps I could help you. Help me? There is no help for me. I just miss my wife so much. This is all so horrible. I... I think I just need to sit down. I need to collect myself. You're welcome. There is one thing I do not understand, Alistair. Just the one thing? About you, perhaps. Why the deception over your parentage? I'd figure you'd be the sort who knows all about deception. I do. And what use the deception might have had ended when King Kaelin perished, did it not? Maybe. I guess I was sort of hoping that would go away. The truth does not go away. I didn't say it was a good plan. Hmm. Well, we survived the night with Redcliffe. Now we're going to go up to Sir Pr uh, Bantigan. See if we can get into uh, Redcliffe Castle and see about the Arl. But I think I'm going to end the video here. Which is probably a good place to stop. So, if you like this video, let me know in the comments. If you really liked it, press that cute little like button. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Luke Dog, and I'll see you next time.